now he goes into, this is where I start using the pick. And then he slides maybe from the fifth or seventh fret. Um, and he just literally goes right up a minor pentatonic scale and he comes back down the minor pentatonic scale throwing in the flat five note. So it's sliding on the D string to the 11th fret. Then he goes to the 9, 11 on the G string, 9, 12 on the B string, 9, 12 on the E string. Then he pulls off from 12, so he plays 9, 12, and he pulls off to the 9th fret on the E string. So. Then he plays 12, 9 on the B string. This is where he throws in the flat 5. He goes to the 12, 11, 9 on the B G string. So. Then he just goes down 11, 9, 11, 9 on the A string. Uh, I think he slides to that 9th fret on the A string. So. That's what he does. And then he pulls off to the seventh fret. And he goes down to the ninth fret on the E string. So that whole thing. Then he goes back to the ninth fret on the A string. And he does a little trill between the fourth and the flat five, which is the ninth fret, to the tenth fret, back down to the ninth fret, and he goes back to the seventh fret on the A string. Then he pulls off from the nine to the seven on the A string. Then he hammers on from the seven to the nine. Then he does this little quick slide from the seven, nine, back to the seven. So it's. So that the cool part about that is again he kind of slowly slides into that first note and then he just takes off and he slightly picks up speed or tempo a little on that and i think he actually picks all those notes until he gets down to that section but what i do is i slide up to this note pick the first up to there and then I start pulling off. I think I pick those two notes. And then I pull those off. I actually pick those two notes and pull that one off. Nah, I might pull all three of those off. And then I pull, I just keep pulling off. I'm not a very good alternate picker, so. I tend not to do that much. So the next part he goes into, he just goes from the 9th fret to the 12th fret of the B string, then the 9th fret on the E string, slides up from the 12th fret to the 14th fret, then he plays the 12, 14 on the E string, so that's... Then he plays the 16th fret on the E string, and he goes down to the 14th fret on the B string. So that whole thing is... Then he goes into this typical kind of blues kind of thing where it's the 9th fret on the B string. And then he bends that... Uh, that was a horrible sound, but... He bends the 12th fret up a whole step, so but really quick. Then he grabs that same pitch on the E string of the uh, E string ninth fret. So the whole thing is. Then 
And he rolls down like a double stop kind of thing, but he plays the notes. It's not a double stop, it's just... He bars the 12th fret of the E string and the B string, and he rolls that. Playing one note at a time, so that's... And he resolves back on that C sharp note, the root note, which is the 9th fret of the E string, so... Then he just goes down the pentatonic scale with the flat five in there. So 12, nine on the B string. 12, 10, nine on the B string, uh, on the G string, I'm sorry. So down to the, again, the root note, which is the C sharp 11th fret of the D string. Then he just walks up the scale without the flat five. So nine to 11 on the G string to the ninth fret on the B string. So that whole thing is. And he ends by sliding from the ninth fret to the eleventh fret on the G string. So. Then he just goes into these chords. Which is. F sharp, nine, dominant nine, slide up a half step to the 10th, from the ninth fret, 10th fret, to the 11th fret, to a B dominant seven chord. Which, again, that whole rhythm section is part of the rhythm lesson that I did in the previous lesson. So that is the whole solo. Again, what I really took out of this was that slight phrasing at the very beginning where he was offsetting the notes instead of just going real straightforward. He was doing and the dynamics of everything he's doing and then of course that cool phrasing and then he slowly slides into a really fast pentatonic run and it just sounds like more than it actually is when you first hear it you're like whoa what is that and that's the cool part about doing nice slow rhythmic phrasing and then throwing in a fast line if you're just tearing it up all the time it kind of gets tiring to the listener's ear but if you do it the opposite way where you're slowly being melodic and phrasing and then you throw in this really cool fast lick that piques people's interest and they're like oh my god what is that and it could be the simplest thing like this where it's just running up and down a pentatonic scale so again another great thing about this is his tone is really cool I use my fingers for the very beginning section the <laughs> Then I start using the pick. And here, sometimes, I don't think in this video, I, st I, I also fold the pick in it. I really like the sound of the plucking and the fingers. So sometimes I'll do it that way, or sometimes I'll use the pick and my middle finger to get some of those plucked notes. Uh, but I think he actually just uses his pick on the whole thing. Although, he does do that hybrid picking technique a lot I've seen on videos that he does. So, anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed that lesson. It was a really straightforward thing, no crazy chromatics or anything, but it has just such a great feel and tone to it. And I hope that helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write them below or email us. Uh, check out guitarbreakdown.com. That will be up and running in full by end of year. And if you do like this, please subscribe or click the like and all that kind of stuff. It really helps us know that you guys like these videos and you want to see more. So I hope to see you guys on the next lesson, and I thank you for watching. Thanks.